Hi, this is Sajin Bharatiya and welcome to 2023 Prediction Series. And today we have with us once again, Margaret Lee, SVP and GM of Digital Services and Operations Management at BMD Software. Margaret, it's great to see you again. Absolutely, it's good to see you again. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Before I ask you to pick your crystal ball and share your predictions, quickly remind our viewers, what is BMC all about today? BMC is an infrastructure software company that's been around for uh, 40 years that serves a large percentage of uh, more than 85% of Fortune 100 large companies. We are deep in the uh, technology infrastructure for our large banks, government agencies, and enterprises. Our offering spans from SaaS-based service management uh, to monitoring systems, to automation, to mainframe. Um, yeah, a lot of large companies depend on BMC software. Excellent. Thanks for telling that. Now it's time for you to pick your crystal ball and tell us what predictions you have for our audience. Yeah, this is uh, that time of the year. Look back to 2022. It's been an interesting year. And always look ahead. Take a pause to see what's coming. Um, so sitting where, where I sit, be able to see the uh, trends of infrastructure software, uh, particularly the, in the area that BMC have a significant role to play for customers, I really see three different things stand out. There's a lot going on in technology, no doubt. Right? One, I would say from a pure technical uh, technology perspective, I do anticipate an acceleration of adoption of containers. And that's driven by a variety of things. One is uh, uh, just as people go into the cloud, public cloud, hyperscalers, that kind of deployment. I hear a lot of customers talk about refactoring existing applications or building new applications. The architecture of choice is microservices, deployment container uh, deployment. And of course, as the, the big unknown, what's going to happen to VMware's uh, investment strategy, pricing, and all of that. So I think 2023, a big acceleration of that technology. Second, what I would say is the uh, AI becomes more practical. Um, AI has been very hot, very buzzy for a number of years now, but uh, started early in 2022. We, from a BMC customers and other um, other sort of eight, uh, companies in a comparable situation in the industry, we see customers pushing AI to very practical use cases. Right, in the sense of everybody has a lot of data, the system is very complex, and people just don't have enough hands in terms of a team and people to handle all that complexity and data. But AI is going to go from just math and algorithms and data to concretely how much time do you save me? How much you're able to de-risk me? How much automation can you, you know, get more work done by the same group of people into very practical use cases? I think that would actually help AI because uh, anything that's practical and can deliver concrete proven business benefits have a tendency to get adoption even further. Uh, more narrowly, uh, in the space that BMC in particular, uh, my business unit plays in, which is a service management, operations management, uh, we do see an acceleration of uh, convergence uh, of those two domains in terms of uh, in a typical company, IT department, their service, that service management workflow cases, kind of uh, uh, teams and technology get closer and closer with the operations side. And that's largely driven by the increasing adoption of enterprise DevOps. So everybody wants to release faster, therefore you have to monitor change, monitor risk, something happens, you want to take action, is into the service desk. So we do see the acceleration of what we call service ops. Uh, in, the, in my neck of the woods, in the, in the technology infrastructure software, we do see service ops as uh, getting a lot of attention, a lot of traction. Uh, already in 2022 and will accelerate in 2023. So containers, practical AI, and service ops. I would say I expect uh, acceleration in 2023. Thanks for sharing those predictions. If I ask you, what is going to be the focus for the company in 2023? BMC has been around for, like I said, quite some time. And it has several reincarnations. And we are going through a major transformation as a company, really uh, investing in and benefiting from SaaS adoption. 
So in the last couple of years, EMC SaaS business really has expanded. We have Helix-based offerings in service management, operations management. In 2022, we launched the uh, SaaS-based uh, control line for, for automation. So the, the adoption and practice and our customer usage of our SaaS portfolio, right, will uh, help us grow in terms of overall BMC's uh, business, as well as make BMC itself operate somewhat differently. As you can imagine, the, as a deliverer of a SaaS offering, you know, internally we have to sort of do transformation, switch gears, which is different from on-premise. So that's where we are, um, a big area of focus for the company for 2023. Now let's talk a bit about what kind of challenges that you see are going to be there for the industry and how BMC is going to make it easier for companies to navigate through these challenges? Yeah, it's uh, 2022 has been an interesting year, to say the least, <laughs> right? Between the Ukraine, between inflation and, and wrap, you know, not wrapping up, I would say, you know, continue living with COVID and all of that. And I would say some of the uh, uncertainty definitely uh, are carrying into 2023 in a just macro world, what's going on in the world perspective. And that does translate into uh, companies thinking around technology, right? Uh, I would say there, there are several things, several things. One is when people are uncertain about how their top line business and whatever vertical they might be in, banking, retail, manufacturing, et cetera, if they're a little bit uncertain about top line, um, then the way that decisions are made about technology or any investment you know, is gonna is gonna change. It's, and it's definitely at the margin, sometimes even at the core. So what we are seeing, customer is they because, for example, associated with COVID, this almost um, uh, uh, become a, the new normal of have a distributed teams. The new normal have teams locally coming in two to three days a week, right? So people are thinking, okay, what does that mean for my investment in communication technology? What does that mean? My investment in any technology allowed my team to collaborate better more for remote employees to conduct more self-service, right? And what does that mean for your underlying infrastructure of all of my development environments, my you know, system availability, performance? So, so interestingly for BMC, all of this uncertainty uh, in the market for customers top line and their IT decision making, they're leaning towards proven and trustworthy customers. I would say when we survey your customers, uh, what you think about BMC, you know, trust, reliable, proven, those kind of characteristic, characteristics um, come in quite often. And I think that that will sort of benefit us uh, in the 2023. So we see customers, okay, uh, proportionally, let's make sure our current infrastructure environment is solid. Right, invest in, in and expand and, and scale uh, versus, for example, in 2020, 2021, a lot more investments going to experiment and, you know, uh, projects that would not bear food for 24, 36 months or more. I think that in 2023, a lot of the uh, uh, CIOs investing, they say, okay, what can the investment do for me this year? What can the investment do for me in a time of uncertainty yet leading growth? What can the investment do for me in the employee population that's distributed and you know semi semi um, a remote for for for, for 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 the foreseeable future? So those are the things that we see. I'm not sure they're I mean they're challenges for sure, but it's just just different environment for people who have gone through the 2000 2008. <laughs> it's uh, you know third or fourth time and going through that kind of environment Margaret thank you so much for taking time out today and of course share these predictions the focus of the company and the challenges that are ahead of us in 2023 and I would love to have you back on the show thank you sure thank you again for this opportunity